Hello again, friends. We are going to learn about our next two planets today. So, so far we've done the sun, which is not a planet. The sun is actually a great big star. So we've done the sun, we've done Mercury, Venus, Earth, which is our planet, right? And Mars. So we've done five things and four planets. The sun and four planets. The next planet that we're going to talk about today is my absolute favorite planet. I love this planet. I did a project on this planet in school. I have loved it ever since. This is my favorite planet right here. Now, it's a lot bigger than the other ones, don't you think? It's pretty big. This planet is called Jupiter. Jupiter is one of what's known as the gas giants. I believe it is the biggest gas giant. And it is the fifth closest to our sun. So we have Earth and we have Mars. Now we have Jupiter. Do you think it might be starting to get a little cold on Jupiter? It could be. It could be because it is pretty far away from our sun. But actually, Jupiter is very, very hot. And the reason for that is because there is no land on Jupiter. Jupiter is entirely made up of like lava and fire and gas. And it doesn't show it on this model, but Jupiter is known for what is called its big red spot. Now, that's kind of an obvious name, a big red spot. What do you think that is if I told you the name of it is the big red spot? Well, the big red spot is exactly that. It's a giant red spot. And it's on Jupiter, I'd say probably about right here. Don't hold me to that, I'm totally guessing. All right, and the big red spot is the size of three Earths. So three things of this size fit on the side of Jupiter right here. And what the big red spot is, is it's like a giant storm of swirling gas and lava and fire. And scientists don't really know a lot about it because it's so difficult to study. It's so hot, and of course, people can't go there because, you know, of all the lava. So they just know it's kind of like a hurricane. You guys remember hurricanes? It's like a hurricane of gas and lava, and it's really interesting to me. I love learning about Jupiter. It's my favorite, favorite planet. And it is one of the largest gas giants. Jupiter actually has one ring, it doesn't show it on my, on my uh, example, but it has one ring and it goes all the way around the middle. Just one ring, it's really thin. And its ring, even though Jupiter is made out of lava and fire and gas, the ring is actually made of ice because that's how cold it is where Jupiter is. So even though the planet is hot, around Jupiter is actually very cold because it is one of the furthest planets away from the sun. Okay, and so our next planet that we're going to learn about is also called a gas giant, and it is this planet right here. This planet is called Saturn, and Saturn, to my knowledge, has the most rings of any planet in our solar system. And Saturn is made up mostly of nitrogen and oxygen, I believe which normally would be very good for us people to breathe because that's mostly what we breathe is nitrogen and oxygen. But Saturn doesn't really have an atmosphere. It's pretty much all gas. We don't know a whole lot about it. We don't know if there's any land. We know it's cold. Saturn is actually very cold. I think that's why it has so many rings because the rings are mostly made of ice and maybe meteors that have fallen by, okay? Um, so I don't really honestly know a whole lot about Saturn. Saturn is honestly, I want to say it's a yellowish color, yellow-green. Um, and you can actually see Saturn from the night sky sometimes. You can see Jupiter from the night sky sometimes too. I, you know what, guys, I wish I had a telescope because I would be looking at Jupiter all the time. I love Jupiter so much, but I can also look at Saturn and some of these really cool other planets. Okay. So the planets that we have gone over so far, we have the sun, this big giant yellow thing, and then we have Mercury, then we have Venus, which is the second closest to the sun, 
And then we have Earth, which is the third closest to the sun. Then we have Mars. And after Mars is my favorite, Jupiter. I do love me some Jupiter. It is red and orangish with this one ring. Then you have Saturn, okay? And I'll give you a hint. We only have two more planets left. So we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. That's six planets plus our sun that we have learned about so far. Okay, again, guys, do you have any questions about any of the planets that we've gone over so far? I would love for you to learn more about it. I'd be glad to look anything up for you. All right, so these are our planets that we've learned about so far. I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Have a great day.